All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining on this video session. So this is the 7th of July on Wednesday. So today, um, I would like to talk about the relationship between Ichimoku Fiber Lines and also time cycles. And especially focus on um, how you can um, capture the momentum of the market and also the strength of the trend. So time cycle is actually one of the most important parts of Ichimoku because in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo there are wave theory and time theory and also price theory. So the ultimate goal for any Ichimoku users is to be able to combine Ichimoku fiber lines and Ichimoku time cycle wave, th wave theory and also time theory so that you can read the market correctly as a whole but uh, today especially I would like to talk about uh, how you can capture the towards the end of the trend or the strengths of the trend direction because I am a trend follower so this is also um, something that I do every time I analyze charts and also if I, when I'm looking for new opportunities this is what I do by time cycle and also wave and then the five lines of Ichimoku so I hope you enjoyed today's video session as well so let's get started so this video um, this uh, information today is uh, based on my own strategy and also based on my view towards the market so when you take trades please do at your own risk and also if you can follow the guideline rules during this video session that would be great so this video is recorded at 7.41 a.m. in UTC time zone uh, because after this I have to go to the new apartment and I will be there all day today because uh, there are there are uh, people this uh, there are furniture or the uh, the internet and also uh, some couple of other uh, services come to the apartment so I have to do everything these and uh, most likely um, I won't be able to come back to the hotel tonight so that's why I decided to capture a video and upload at uh, 14 UTC time zone today so that uh, you can learn something new from my channel so let's go to the chart and I will take this um, USDJPY as example because I found that uh, this is a very interesting market right now so if you see this market at a glance you might think that this is bullish because the market has been up in waves consecutive like this so this is bullish and you can expect the market goes up continuously this way the price is above the Kijun Sen and the Kumo's uh, bullish and Chikol span above the candles so in Ichimoku 5 lines this is bullish and that's what I say usually when I do the market analysis I say that this is bullish because of these reasons however right now the Kumo Senko span beats up but uh, Senko span A is flat and Kijun Sen flat like this so the market is losing its uptrend so it can go back and it may reach to the Kumo in this case so um, I say um, if the market breaks the Kijun Sen level which is at 110.407 area then um, you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore but if the market continues to go up this way and breaks the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen angle goes up and Kuma angle also goes up this way then that will be a timing to look for buy and this is based on the Ichimoku 5 lines and also the wave analysis on this consecutive end waves the market if the market goes up on the consecutive end waves to the future then that will be a scenario to look for buy and on top of this you can uh, add time cycles to see how the market has been uptrending on the on this end wave so I take this date of a uh, 23rd of April which was the beginning of this uptrend 
Before that, there was a huge retracement. Since 31st of March, huge retracement happened, and that was、uh, 18 bars. And 17 is one of the k i h o n s u c h i numbers in Ichimoku, so 18 is very close. So we can say that the, on the 18 bars,、uh, I wave downtrend. Afterwards, from the 23rd of April, the market has been bullish in the wave. So, in this bullish new wave,、um, what I also look at is the pushbacks, pushback time cycles. So,、um, so, starting from here, 23rd of April, the next pushback is going to be on the 11th of May. So, I simply、uh, count the number of candles to that future and I found it 13 birds. So, 13 bars of between the pushbacks. So, that means on these 13 bars, the market went up and went down. Retraced. And from this day, 11th of May, it went up again and retraced backwards. So, I can see that this 11th of May is one of the Henkabis. And it happens in 13 bars in between. And 13 is not the Kihon Suchi number. So,、um, It just happened like this 13 bars retracement. And this is called V wave. This is called V wave because the market went up and retraced backwards. And after that, another V wave happened. And let me count the number of time c y c l e until the 25th of May. So in this cycle,、uh, 25th of May, It's going to be 11 bars. So between 11th of May and 25th of May, there were 11 bars, and this was also the V wave, like this. So this is consecutive V waves. And after that, the market went up and retraced backwards. So let me see how many candles it happened like that. So, in this case,、um, I take the pushback as、uh, this one, 9th of June, because there, is a, there was a、um, support by this、uh, Kijun Sen, and afterwards the market went up. So, I take this、uh, support on the 9th of June, and if I simply count the number of time c y c l e then it becomes 12 bars. Okay, so 12 bars, the market went up. And retrace backwards, simply speaking. And then I count, I measure another V wave and also、uh, the pushback by the Kijun Sen, which happened on the 25th of June. And then I count the number of、uh, candles, once again, like this. And this becomes nine bars. So in nine bars, the market went up and retrace. And supported by this Kijun Sen, and then went up afterwards. So, and the next pushback happened at the Tenkan Sen, which was on the 30th of June. And in between, there is eight bars, right? Eight bars of V wave. And then now, afterwards, the price is now coming back down to Kijun Sen, and let me. Count the number of candles here, and this is only six bars. So, you see the pattern here? So, I take the lows, the, I take the swing lows, and I measure the number of candles in between. And these V waves are sorry, these、uh, swing lows are in the V wave. So, this one was a bit tricky, but、uh, we can smooth it. And we can take this as a swing high and low, and this was a V wave. Another V wave happened here, and then V wave, and then now V wave happens also here too. And today is the 7th of July. So, what can you tell from this time cycle? It is actually the essence of Ichimoku time cycle too. We tend to focus on the same Taito Suchi number or Kihon Suchi number. But if you use the time cycles like this way, 
you can find something very important. So, the thing we can find here is that the V waves are getting narrower and narrower. So, the first V wave was 13 bars, and the second V wave was 11 bars. There are two bars difference, and then afterwards, there, there was a 12 bars, 12, 11, almost the same number. But afterwards, another V wave on the pushback was only 9 bars, less than 12, and then 8 bars, right, less than 9, and then 6 bars, which is less than 8. So you see that the, the pushbacks are happening, and this is consecutive N waves, but you can also see that the cycles are getting narrower and narrower. And what this means is that the market is losing its uptrend in this situation. So now that the price is at the Kijun Sen and Kumo being flat and Kijun Sen being flat also, I usually say that this is not the right timing to buy. And as per Ichimoku Five Lines, yes, this is not the good time for buy. But also, if I see time cycles like this way, then this is not also a good timing to buy because the market might drop, might break the support or at 110.40 area and it might go back to the Kumo today or tomorrow or next week. So this is where you have to be very careful when you take a trade. So even if the market goes up afterwards like this, it may be traced backwards very soon. It might happen less than six bars. It might happen five or four retracement. And then what you see in this case is that you see, you will see the, um, the head and shoulders at the top. And if the market breaks the neckline, then it starts to go down this way. So time cycle um, shows the momentum of the market and also volatility of the market too. But at the same time, it, it also shows the strengths and the stability of the market direction trend. So this is very important concept and I look at these time cycles also in this way too. So this is a bit advanced technique. So um, if you're not familiar still with the time cycles, you can focus on the price action and Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span. But um, once you get used to it, then you can explore yourself to waves and also time cycle like this and then eventually the price projection theory. So tonight there will be FOMC. So since this is a USDJPY, um, the USD pairs uh, can be affected by the news. So we have to all watch out. And also gold have to watch out too. So uh, yeah, so that was my observation today on this USDJPY and I thought it's interesting to share these time cycles on this market. So that was the topic for today. And if you're more interested in learning the Ichimoku, depth of the Ichimoku, then you're always welcome to join the Ichimoku community. If you see join button on YouTube, that's simply where you can join. On the mobile, you can find it. On the PC, you can find the join button on YouTube and that's where you can join the Ichimoku community. So, once again, thank you for joining and uh, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press a like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or the live streams on my YouTube channel regularly. So, now that my subscribers, a uh, number of subscribers became reaching uh, 40k now, so uh, thank you so much for support. Before I leave Japan, it was reaching um, 30k, but now it's reaching 40k. So I really appreciate your uh, continuous support and participations. So once I settle in the new apartment, I will be doing the special live stream to celebrate over 40k subscribers. It might be sometime next week or next next week, but I will let you know when it happens. So. Once again, thank you for joining and please have a great day.
Please stay safe and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. またね。Thank you.